I hear you. Be seeing you. May I help you? What is it? What's going on with you? I heard there were some goblins around. Well, what do you want? Good day. What's new with you? Horrible things. I the am. What can I do for you today? Everyone's talking about the assassination, of course. Here, take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Go ahead, keep it. Still no news out of Ellswell since everybody vanished. Strange business. A small settlement to the northwest of here, on the other side of the Silver Road to Bruma. We've had travelers through recently that say it's turned into a ghost town. Everyone vanished without a trace. Thank you for saving Safe my business. Safe travels. I won't That's forget good day.
talk to Deerham in the inn. I'm tired of this minstrel's freak show our town has turned into. Excuse me. We have a small problem that we hope you can help us with. You may be wondering why you can't see me. We are all wondering the same thing. Everyone in Aylesworld suddenly became invisible several weeks ago. It was sort of fun at first, but the novelty has definitely worn off now. You can imagine how difficult it is to run an inn while invisible. Once you get a reputation as a haunted inn, you can just forget about it. So we've all been keeping quiet, hoping the spell will wear off, but we're running out of patience. We're sure it was Ankatar's doing, but we can't find him. If you can help us, we will be extremely grateful. He's a wizard who took up residence in the ruins of Fort Caractacus a couple of years ago. He's caused us no end of trouble with his magical experiments, but nothing as bad as this. We've tried to find him, but had no luck. If he's still living in the fort, he's hiding from us, and no wonder. If you could find him and get him to remove this cursed invisibility, we will all be in your debt. We're pretty sure he's still hiding out in Fort Caractacus, although he never answers when we've tried to find him. It's just to the southeast of here. Follow the path down the hill, but watch out for the invisible monsters that infest the ruins. Goodbye. want whatever you're selling. I told you to leave me alone. Go away. Oblivion take you. What is it you want from me? Say what you're going to say. Don't, please. I doubt it. A good one. What nonsense. Sure, that, no more. What? I doubt it. I doubt it. Don't wait. Ice. A good one. Don't. I accept. Yeah, I doubt it. 
I don't... Yes, yeah, I get it. Yes, I have been working on a new invisibility spell. As you can see, it works quite well. Why? Oh, really? Everyone in town? That must have been what all the shouting was about a few weeks ago. I'm afraid I was engrossed in an experiment that required my full attention. You see, in order to increase the efficacy of the spell, the radius was likely to approach the... Oh, never mind. I don't mean to bore you. You can tell them not to worry. The effect is not actually permanent. It should wear off eventually. Well, in a year or two, maybe a bit more, there's no way to be absolutely sure. That's the exciting thing about basic research. Really? I find being invisible quite refreshing. But, if it will get everyone to leave me alone, fine. I did work out a counterspell last week. If I can just put my hand to it. Ah. Here. Stand in the center of town to make sure you get everyone. Oh, and make sure... Never mind. It should be fine. Go ahead. Don't waste your... Yes, that's pretty. I doubt it. What heavy? What nonsense? Not bad. I doubt it. A good one. I doubt it. Not now. Don't, please. I'm sorry. Sure, that. I don't talk. I doubt it. Thank you. How kind. You're good. Yes, just read the scroll in the middle of town. It should work. Although... Just in case, it might be best if you wore this ring while you were casting the spell. I make them myself. Very useful for this kind of research. Not that I think anything will go wrong. A serious side effects are highly unlikely. Don't forget to wear that ring I gave you when you cast the spell. Not that there's anything to worry about. Farewell. It was nothing.
Good evening. Greetings to you. Thank you, thank you. I can't tell you how good it feels to be able to see myself again. My sisters, on the other hand, I wouldn't mind if they had stayed invisible. <laughs> ah, me. Friend, you are welcome at the Aleswell Inn anytime. Free of charge. We haven't seen him since that whole invisibility mess. I hope it stays that way. I don't even know what a will-o'-the-wisp is, much less how to kill one. I think they're just swamp gas myself. Bye. Hey, you're the one who made us visible again, right? Good show. Oh, don't get me wrong, some of my best friends are elves. But self-important jerks like Ankatar give them all a bad name. Bye. You really enjoy this whole hero thing, don't you? Everybody fawning all over you? I'm not like that. If he's smart, he'll keep out of my way. High elf and a mage to boot, the worst kind of arrogance. Stop talking. Enough. Oh, it's you. My brother goes on and on about you. I know you saved us and everything, but it does get tiresome after a while. Typical Altimer. Thinks the whole world is made for his convenience. If I had my way, we'd go down there and burn him out. Let him find some other place for his little experiments. I'm done talking to you. The prey approaches. We'll never forget how you saved us from Ankotar's crazy magic. What can I do for you? I say live and let live. It was an unfortunate accident, and he helped make it right. Others in the village are not so forgiving, though. I don't blame him for keeping to himself. Be seeing you. <laughs> <laughs>